Media Matters for America is pleased to announce its Misinformer of the Year for 2009, Mr. Glenn Beck. Debuting his Fox News broadcast the day before President Obama's inauguration, he quickly showed why he and Fox were a perfect fit. Buckle up, because it could get very, very bumpy. Advocacy for Republican causes, conspiracy theories, race baiting, and a hearty batch of lies. His tears made much of the world laugh. I just love my country, and I fear for it. <laughs> I got nothing. <laughs> what the hell? I got nothing to do. But his militant followers responded in lockstep. 1.7 million people, or 60,000, but who's counting? Tens of thousands, north of half a million. 400,000. 1.7 million. 60 to 70,000 is more like it. We call the D.C. Fire Department today. They stand by that number rallied on the National Mall to surround themselves with others who share their hatred and to protest Nazis or something. But a supposed news outlet told them to come and they blindly obeyed. I watch Fox. Glenn Beck, Fox. Fox, Glenn Beck. He gives you the information and lets you decide. But we're not saying Glenn's urging violence or anything. After all, he only dreamed of the assassination of one elected official. Uh, publicly, at least. I want you to drink it now. Drink it. By the way, I put poison in your... No, I... This is stunning. Maybe his fact-free rants were conspiracy theories. Maybe they were the product of a seriously disturbed mind. Maybe they were the ravings of a garden-variety racist. I think that's a connection. Anybody? Or were they something else? We're just asking questions. He even tried to hide his own discomfort with the president's race by calling Obama himself a racist. This president, I think, has exposed himself as a guy over and over and over again who has a deep-seated hatred for white people or the white culture. I don't know what it is. He lost over 80 corporate sponsors for his remarks leaving him with an eclectic mix of gold investment firms, retirement communities, and Susan Boyle CDs. Sad days indeed. He did make a very racist comment. In the end, Rupert Murdoch stuck by his rodeo clown, and Fox remained the laughing stock it is. If you actually assess what he was talking about, he was right. Gosh, that smacks of uh, racism, but maybe it's just me, Ed. Shoving silly details like facts and logic aside, Glenn joined other distinguished Americans by fighting the good fight to rid the country of the gathering commie, fascist, socialist, Nazi threat. Comrades, there is good news from the Western Front. Communist infiltration of the CIA. Communist revolutionary. Who may be serving the communist cause. Committed communist. Communist organization. March to socialism. System of fascism. A socialist communist. Have you no sense of decency, sir? Stop, stop, stop. No one in 2009 peddled more hate, stirred more groundless fears, and spread more lies. If your gut said, wait a minute, this global warming thing, it sounds like a scam. Well, I think you're seeing it now. We told you this was going on without proof. And the bogus claim of putting people back to work, please. The jobs are not being saved or created. Cap and trade. I'm only allowed to breathe, let's say, 50 times a day. If I breathe any more than 50 times a day, then I have to pay for all of the stuff that comes out of my mouth, right? This show has won so many science awards. It's hard to underestimate the impact Beck has had on our national debate. Glenn Beck. I, I think he's nuts. Out and out nuts. Blatant hypocrite. Harmful for America. He'll do anything to get his fudge out there. A lot of this is aimed at telling people who are racist on the other side, hey, you're not so bad. 100% that's race baiting. Empower racists. Playing into others' racial fears. Trying to find a way to divide people. There was a time when outrageous rants like this would actually cost the ranters their job. Calling the President of the United States a racist is not productive, and frankly, I think it's kind of stupid. There's but danger in what he said, too. You can listen to him if you like. I choose not to. Separate yourself from him, Fox News. We salute you, Glenn Beck, our unanimous choice for Miss Informer of the Year 2009. I think there's only so much you can take before blood shoots out of your eyes. We couldn't agree more.
lose my mind today.